Aging is a natural biological process. Aging occurs throughout fetal development, through childhood, um, throughout life, so you're always aging. Aging is a multifactorial process uh, that leads to decline and ultimately death. Aging is an accumulation of damage in the cells, in the organs, and in the body. Aging is the mother of all diseases. But that doesn't mean it's not potentially targetable. My name is Jose Cordeiro. I am an engineer from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. My name is Alex Shavrankov. I am the founder and CEO of a company called In Silico Medicine. I'm Jim Kirkland. I'm president of the American Federation for Aging Research. I'm Jamie Metzl, author of the book Hacking Darwin, Genetic Engineering and the Future of Humanity, and member of the World Health Organization Expert Advisory Committee on Human Genome Editing. All of life on Earth stems from the same foundation, and there is a genetic code that is the history of our species and all species, and it's the recipe for life. There is a big disparity in life expectancy, even among mammals. Uh, we have mammals that live only two years, like little mice, and we have whales, big whales that live 200 years. And also there are animals, small animals, that do not seem to age, like the immortal jellyfish. Cancer cells also discover how not to age. Cancer doesn't even know how to read or write, but it discovered how to stop the aging process. And now scientists that can read, that have gone to university and then have a lot of money to do research, we will discover what cancer has done to stop aging. Part of aging is encoded in our DNA. So we know that uh, many of the genes get uh, activated early in life and contribute to our growth and development. And some of the same genes uh, lead to us having uh, different diseases later in life. What we're targeting is those aspects of fundamental aging processes that contribute to disease risk. By far the biggest risk factor for most of the diseases that cause problems is aging. So the question is, can we target the underlying mechanisms that are linked to these fundamental aging processes? And the answer is beginning to look like, yes, we can. Genome editing is our human ability to edit the code of life. We can find, identify a place in the genome of really any species, and then we can um, add, delete, or change small amounts of genetic code, and that can have profound implications for that species. There are certain islands on our DNA called CPG sites that get methylated. And we know that uh, during aging, those methylation sites, they shift. Those uh, aging biomarkers are called aging clocks. And currently, we are utilizing those clocks to identify new biological targets, so those molecular pathway switches that can be tuned to hopefully slow down the aging processes or um, uh, even stop. This would change not only medicine, it would change things like agriculture, space travel, international relations. It could have huge ramifications if some of these things actually prove to work. As we develop capabilities to target aging and slow the biological process of aging, not only will that unlock more human potential, but it also has the ability to save a lot of money by helping people live healthier lives. If we cure aging, we cure cancer, we cure Alzheimer's, we cure basically most other diseases. All the problems that we have today in terms of uh, pensions, retirement, old people will not exist because we will be biologically young. The population globally is rapidly aging. The only way to solve this problem is to accelerate aging research and make 
the elderly more productive and living dramatically longer. It's not just about enjoying the fruits of life, it's also about contributing. It's a terrible tragedy. We invest as a society and as individuals, we invest so much in the development of a person. So every 90 year old, every 100 year old who gets dementia and loses their ability to share all of their knowledge and wisdom with those around them, that's not just a loss for that person, that's a loss for humanity. We really live between the last mortal generation and the first immortal generation. This is the best time to be alive and the best time to remain alive.